Your mindset is not how you think or how you act. Let's get that right straight from the start. If you want to build a bulletproof mindset, there are three things that you need to consider. One, how you see yourself. Two, how you see others. And three, how you see the world around you. And in this video, I'm going to give you my top three tips on how to develop that bulletproof mindset so that you can improve on whatever you set out to do. Whether it just be getting through each day or progressing towards a lifelong goal, this will definitely help you. Okay guys, for this exercise, you're going to need three items. One, a pen or pencil. Two, a piece of paper or a notepad. And three, some sort of timing device set up for 60 seconds, one minute of timing. Your form would be ideal. If you haven't got those items to hand right at this moment, could you just pause the video right now and go and get them and then restart the video as soon as you have those items. Okay, if you have all those to hand now, I want you to have your pen and paper ready. And when I say now, I want you to press the timer to start the 60 second countdown on your timer. But before you do that, I want you to relax and picture yourself lying on a bed, face upwards, propped up by some pillows and you're looking out of a window and the sun is setting. The sun is setting at the end of the day. But it's not one day. This is the last 60 seconds of the day of your life. And as the sun is about to set, and there's about 60 seconds to go of your life, then your great grandchild runs into the bedroom and asks you, Grandma or Grandpa, could you please tell me, tell me how to lead my life? Tell me what you should do. Just before you go, please just tell me how should I lead my life? I want you to press your timer now. I want you to write as fast as you can the advice you give to your great grandchild. Go now. Okay now guys, I hope you've got a, a good few paragraphs or sentences written down there on exactly the advice you would give to your grandchild. Now that advice that you've given to your grandchild there is the way that you should be living your life. And if you're not, then you are living a lie. What that does, it gives you what you call a life force and it's, uh, it's something that can be installed on a stone of life which is also a game from the Chimp Paradox Mind Model. But I thought that would be really useful for you to exactly take a look of how you should be leading your life. This will change your mindset on the way that you see the world and you see yourself. In the next tip I'm going to give you, we will clarify a little bit more on that and we'll see what is actually happening at the present moment and then we'll look for a way forward. So just keep that at hand while we go to tip number two. Okay, step two. Again, we're going to need the paper and the pen. And this time for the next seven days, I want you to write down each day when you have behaved as you have said you are, when we set your life force in the earlier exercise, 
and when you are not behaving like that. Just do it each day for seven days so you've got two comparisons of how you are really acting and how you should be acting compared to what, how you think life should be led. And then as a third list for that, I want you to ask a really good friend who knows you very well to write a list of how they see you, how they see you acting on a daily basis, how they see you acting as a friend and how they see you in life. And this is how you really, really form your mindset because as I said at the beginning, it's how you see yourself, it's how you see others and it's how you see the world around you. And the two exercises I've given you so far are finding your life force and then creating these lists to compare of how you're actually living will form your mindset. Now there's just one more exercise to do and this is really important because it's how you control the most powerful part of your brain to get you exactly what you really want in life and to overcome the more weaker parts. But I wanted you to understand what your life force is and how you're actually living before we go on to this last step. So be back shortly with step number three where we will fire up what I call the computer part of your brain. If you're not familiar with the computer and the chimp and the human, just take a look up there, click on the video up there, that'll give you an insight into what that is. And it's all based on the mind model of the chimp paradox by Professor Steve Peters, a book I read in 2012. Okay, for the final aspect of this, I want you to set yourself a goal. I've studied and met and done some work with a wonderful, mentor who's died recently and is called Bob Proctor and he really taught me how to set a goal properly and he said it must be a grade A goal and these are the three things for a grade A goal. One, you must never have done it or been there before. Two, it must scare you and three, you must just about be able to imagine yourself doing it. So this is what we call setting a grade A goal. And if you set it properly and you choose it carefully, then it will involve bringing the computer part of your brain into play because this runs at times 20. And when you've got a goal set properly on the computer part of your brain, then your chimp and your human will both come into play to help you achieve the goal. If it's just about imaginable, if it's too much, your chimp will uh, believe it's too much and you may need to set some smaller goals, but if you're just about imaginable, it must scare you and you must never have been there before. If you bring all these three things together, your life force, you understand how you really believe life should be lived, you then take a look at actually how your mindset is working and how the world sees you and how you see the world, and then you set one almighty grade A goal, then you will see your real mindset come into play. Now, when you combine all these three things together, this will create what you call a really success mindset. And if you want to know some more about how the three parts of your brain work, take a look at these next two videos on the end screen, and I look forward to hearing in your comments of how your mindset has changed. Hope that helped.